Hello Scorpio, welcome to your November reading with me Laurie and it's an absolute pleasure to do this for you and a happy birthday to all my fellow November Scorpios. Hope it's a brilliant, brilliant birthday for those of you with your son in Scorpio. Now this is general reading, this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. I don't do reversals by the way. There we go. But if you would like a private reading from me to answer your questions, the link is below as to how to get one of those to my website. All right. I will just arrange these cards in a very much orderly fashion because this is a bit too all over the place. Okay, so you may notice if you had the October readings that there are more. It's because we're using the Everyday Witch Tarot this time and um, basically they are normal tarot size and the Enchanted Tarot deck are way bigger. So we get more information from this because of the more cards that we've got. So you've got the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. That's your leading cards. And then we have, just to give us a bit more background, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Sun and the Eight of Swords. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, I'm not going to lie. It feels a little bit like there's some angst and anxiety still going on for you guys. You may be worried about whether you've made a correct decision over something but to be honest I feel you're separating yourself from things that are holding you back now um you're still not sure whether to set yourself free that's something that I'm noticing quite a lot here you're still not quite sure as to whether you're able to commit to something you're not sure whether you're able to really fly and not fall back again but that's your anxiety talking that's nothing else nothing that I can see anyway to say that you're not good enough in fact you're more than good enough and I think that's something that people need to hear a lot of these days um, but in particular you you I think sometimes there's a video on YouTube that I can't remember who it is um but it's just kind of like you take a breath and you say I am good enough or just whatever you want to say after I am then say it and believe it like I am good enough or I am able so that's just the thing that I think comes through here most of all is that you are good enough you're putting too many risks uh, not risks security around yourself you put in too much um constraints there because I think you're kind of forcing it to happen a certain way or want it to happen a certain way and so this is kind of setting you back a little bit more than it should do um but that's the energy that I'm getting from the overall reading let me just see what kind of information comes through individually so you've got the king of king of courts I was going to say king of cups with the four of pentacles now it could be that you are very emotionally balanced and because you're emotionally balanced you feel like you need to hide some kind of um secret about yourself or you just want to lock something in a box it could be um issues that you don't really want to think about it could be things that you would prefer to put to one side um, but to be honest, you're feeling stable, you should be feeling creative, you should gain the perspective, because he's got his little telescope there, um, so you should be feeling quite good about something, but there is something here that's like, I need to keep a grip on this, I need to keep this secure, because if I um, let something bother me, if I let something distract me, I'm going to take 10 steps back. And it's that sort of conquering, controlling mentality that may cause this calmness to bubble a little bit. So, for instance, if you're finally seeming, seeing the results that you wanted to at work, if you're finally experiencing things that you've always wanted to experience, you could be worried about how you can control that to stay in your life. And that's the thing, you will not be able to control it to stay in your life if you hold it too quickly or if you hold it too hard, it will break down. And that's the thing, I think what they're trying to say is you have a handle on your issues, you have a handle on your 
people around you and the friendships that you have. Um, but I think it's just a case of needing to understand a little bit more that you're not only your issues your good things as well so if you try and just kind of handle those issues it'll be fine you'll remain this person but don't control it too much and I think this is very much about the group order who you may see yourself as in a group or in a wider group I think sometimes you may be seen as the wild wisdom person but sometimes it could also be that you feel a little bit isolated like you're on an island looking at the world from the outside in and I think that's something to do with this here. But I don't think that you have to worry too much about that because you have this strength and this compassion that I think is very key to being a good person and setting yourself on the road to success, really. The thing is you have to, you know, be mindful of is not to kid yourself. The Seven of Swords is sometimes not about other people trying to deceive you, but you trying to deceive yourself. It could be that you're betraying some kind of key part of yourself. You thought, um, for instance, I would always get here this way through the right channels, but something is like, it's not happening as quickly as I wanted to, so I may have to go through the other channels. Don't do that. Stick by your guns. I mean, if it, if it makes you feel weird and it makes you feel uncomfortable to try and go into the other area, to go into the other channels, don't do it. Honestly, please don't do that because I think that you are going to get the idea you need. You're going to get the perspective you need. There's a curious energy here. It's like a eureka moment. And, you know, if some people are being a little bit dodgy with you, if some people are going a little bit... um withholding truth shall we say then of you were going to put the th truth in front of them basically i know what you're doing i know what you've been doing this past month year however long and i'm not standing for it anymore and you're actually going to stand up for yourself and be quite um soulful with your communication with them and that's what i feel here is it may be a bit delayed you may get a lot of communication coming through towards the middle of the month and you may think, yes, but again, there could be people or your own anxiety thinking, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, deceiving yourself. So please try and keep an open mind when it comes to the good things coming because it may take you or it may take a leap of faith in order to really understand where it is you want to go to. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles with the Sun is an interesting one. I very, very rarely have a combination quite like this. So the Five is about, again, um, a little bit of conflict. And I think this is more about insecurity, worry, poverty, feeling like any port in a storm, got to get there, got to get there, got to get there, that kind of thing. But the sun is here to say, you're all right. There's an enlightenment coming here. There's a reassurance that you're heading for greatness. You don't have to worry that this is going to be your life forevermore. Don't focus on this being your life forevermore. Focus on the good things. Focus on what you want your life to be. Change your mental attitude to something greater. Because for some of you Scorpios, and you know, I understand, I know a lot of Scorpios who are in the same boat, you may have been in this situation for quite a long time. You don't know anything but that. And the thing that you could move forward and have so much freedom, you may be a little bit worried about the consequences that come with that. For instance, it could be you don't want to have so much attention. You don't want to have so much change. You don't want to have um, so much responsibility. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it because you'll have enough vitality to actually forfeit this existence of your mind and of your mental state because to be honest it feels like you're heading to security you're heading to um something golden it is a port in a storm but it's not just one temporarily and then you go to the next one you have to have this kind of it's gonna be okay, okay it's gonna grow tall i'm gonna feel all right because i think you are going to go through some sort of enlightenment this month i mean it could be to do with your birthday but I do think there's a lot going on for you in the positive areas, really. This is a good a good combination, to be honest, because it's saying no matter how much you fear, you have, it has no basis. The fear that you have has no basis. You're judging your fear on what's experiencing now, not what is to come. So kind of understand that a little bit more if you can. Um, 
because we don't normally fear the darker elements but sometimes living in them is a little bit difficult so just kind of move away from that if you can and then we have the eight of swords with the knight of cups and the eight of swords is almost like isolation again and you may feel like oh crap i've wasted my chance or i feel very alone or i don't know what to do this is a very isolationist sort of mentality you don't have to have that the knight of cups is very much about that sort of romance and charm and the kind of lust for life and maybe invitations i mean there's a shark underneath here you know and it's rising above that danger rising above that i mean you may think if I lose myself to this person, if I lose myself to this situation, if I go along with this um, curious, wonderful, charming energy, what's to say I won't fall off? And that's this talking. Everything here, actually, everything here is showing me that you have so much to give, so much love and compassion and dynam dynamism and a gift you have a gift and where others may see it you don't and that's the thing that's really annoying me it's kind of like i can get this i can get this i can get this but there's a fear of what if i don't or what if it goes tits up what if it goes wrong what if it does this what if... ignore it people may tell you do not jack in your job that's making you sick until you have another job No, do what's right for you. Do what's right for you. That's the um, that's the that's the main thing that I can tell you at the moment. Because you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is at the bottom. This is what is yours. This is what is due to come to you: wealth, establishment, success, happy families, a home, stability, achievement. A sense of well-being that comes from having material things, yes. But also, the material things, I think, are the biggest concern for you right now. I don't get this being spiritual. I don't get this being, oh, well, I can't have this because I'm a spiritual person. Nowhere, in no law, does it say spiritual people can't have a house that they call their own. In no law, anywhere, do spiritual things say that you cannot have stability and security and enough money to be comfortable and not have to worry in no law at all so this is something that's coming through for you but it's just the case of ah but if i get it is that a trick question am i just going to fall down again because i'm used to poverty or i'm used to people backstabbing me or i'm used to this we need to get out of that mentality you need to know that you're worth it and you have enough power within yourself to actually gain what you want to gain and i'm just going to do a nature's whispers oracle card to round off this reading. Hmm, what does Scorpio need to know? For the month of November, the month of Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? For the month of November, the month of Scorpio. Okay, I keep getting the fact that there's a lot that want to come through here. Um, but I'm not going to be able to. Okay. <laughs> Hope and happiness. Hope and happiness. So this adds up to a number three card. And this is very much about having that feeling of um, just something that feels like it's coming through a little bit more in regards to Letting your imagination run wild, letting your law of attraction come through, letting that feeling of oneness with the universe. You deserve the hope and happiness, you deserve freedom that comes with it, whether it's relationships or work that you're worried about right now, or even your health, a sense of self. Let your mind flow into this universal state. If you allow it to come in and help you, if you ask it for help, if you talk to your guides your higher self if you connect with that hope and happiness will be yours i think in order to have hope you need to know that happiness is achievable so believe happiness is achievable and then you'll have hope that things are going to change okay well this is a longer reading than i anticipated 
but they had a lot to say and like I said there's a lot of cards here so it gave me a little bit more perspective on what's coming through again thank you very much for joining me whether you're new or old subscribers thank you so much it really does mean the world to me that you stop by and say hello and tell me everything that goes on for you this month in the comments do let me know thank you for liking sharing subscribing and if you do want a private reading with myself or a consultation on anything the link is below to my website but in the meantime i wish you all the very best take care of yourselves make sure that you believe in happiness and then you can actually have that drive to get there but yeah wishing you all the best scorpio and i'll speak to you soon